Hey, welcome to Randy's Road Life. I'm Randy. Pleased to meet you on another video, another episode. So happy to have you here. Thank you for joining. Now, uh, as always, the title gives it away, and it's not clickbait. I just, I've I've had the OTR 800. It's a Garmin OTR 800 for five months. Okay, but before I get into that, you know what's coming? Please like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, please. Hit the thumbs up, please. Hit the thumbs up, please. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications of these videos so I can post content that will aid you in your trucking profession, right? Whether you're a company driver, owner, operator, lease, purchase, I'm here for you. All right, so here we go. Now, we're going to do. We do informed content, that way you can make an informed and intelligent decision to do what? To bring about a positive results and outcomes in your day-to-day -day business practices. So, here we go. I've had I've almost 70 loads, close to 70 loads on this GPS, okay? Now I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna show you some of my consternation, right? And show you why this is, without doubt, the worst GPS I have ever came in contact with. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. I hate it. All right, so, so there it is. You see this right here? Now watch. Now, I am going home. Those of you who know, I, uh, I live in Kentucky, so I'm gonna show you. Right, you hit it's this right here. You hit that, that shows you your whole route. It does have some good features. Now look at that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how asinine this is. This is over 360 some miles, but it shouldn't be. It should be a lot less than that, right? Because when you see right this road right here, that goes west to east, east and west, where it's it cuts off here to 69. Let's let's go in. Let's see what road this is. All right. I want to show you what road this is. All right. This is actually There it is. It is the Martha Lynn Collins Bluegrass. And actually, hold up, let me come back. It is the Wendell H Ford Western Kentucky Parkway. What does that mean? Well, I live in Kentucky, and these are parkways, 65 mile an hour zones, you know, state highways, if you will. Why is it not routing me up the state highway? Why is it sending me more than 100 miles out of route, all the way up back into Illinois, over into, I mean, into Indiana, and then back down to Kentucky? See, look at that. This is, now ladies and gentlemen, I'm just my trucking brothers and sisters, let me tell you something, man. This happens all the time. I'm constantly, constantly rerouting. Now even when you, now in order to shape a route on here, you tap where you wanna, where you wanna reroute. See that, how I did that? Now see where it says shape route? That means I'm gonna go down the highway, watch, watch what happens. All right, it's gonna calculate. Now watch what it does. Sorry if it's bouncing around, it's because I'm getting loaded. Now look at that. Now see how it changed the route? Now let's now let's look at this. Look at that. How asinine is that? Right? 391 miles. It added miles to there. This is why you cannot trust his GPS. Do not buy the Garmin 800. OTR 800. Do not buy the Garmin OTR 800. As a matter of fact, don't buy the 1000. Don't buy the 700. Now I had a, um, I had the uh, 780, the old 780, which was actually pretty decent. I didn't have all these problems. You know, so whatever Garmin did, they gotta stop doing it and go back to whatever system they used to have because this system sucks, all right? I used to have the uh, the um, the Ram McNally 540. 
all right? And uh, that just set me down so many rabbit holes. So with that, uh, this is the OTR 800. I hate it. Uh, when I uh, am able to, I am going to purchase a different GPS and I'm gonna take a hammer to this thing. This is how much I dislike and despise this OTR 800. The Garmin OTR 800 absolutely is atrocious, all right? It's constantly, constantly misrouting me. I have to, now you should always double check and trip plan your routes. But with this thing, you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful with this thing because it will send you out of route very far. I mean, it, it will change your route, right? So you gotta be careful with that. It, it's Now, the garbage will say, oh, you're not updated to the newest software. Yes, I am. I constantly up this thing. I, I update this thing on Wi-Fi. Every time an update comes out, I update it on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It is completely up to date on all the updates. Okay, so I have nothing. Now this thing does have good features. I can't say I don't have nothing to positive say. There are good features on this GPS. All right, there are good features. But uh, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't waste your six hundred and fifty dollars. That's including tax on this piece of junk. Right? Don't waste your $650 on this piece of trash. So with that, this has been Randy's Road Life. I'm just trying to keep you guys informed. Always trying to give you guys <clears throat> the truth. And not just my opinion, but the things I know and I have experienced and in, in, in the successes and failures. That way, some things are subjective. So with that, you're able to make your own decision. If you get the OTR 800 and it works for you, let me know. And also, leave a comment. What GPS do you use that is working great? I know some people use the Smart Route 2. You know, I've used to use that. It's actually pretty decent. I might go back to that, actually. So, with that, I love you guys. Peace out.